Hello everyone and welcome back to TBO. It's the sexiest time of the year, or it would have been if this episode had come out on time. Hell yeah. Uh, welcome to our Valentine's Day special, several days late. Dan, will you be my Valentine's? I mean, I might as well. I've got no one else, so. Sweet. Well, Dan, to find out if we're compatible, I found a bunch of Valentine's Day quizzes. Ah, yay. Because, you know, however, quizzes always do well. <laughs> however, they're all superhero related. So, Dan, we're going to start today. We'll find your superhero soulmate. Choose your favorite Valentine's Day treat, and we'll reveal your superhero OTP. Sounds pretty sweet. Let's play. What looks good? Thank you. <laughs> what looks good on an audio podcast? Basically, it's chocolate hearts, um, some little chocolate balls, or, you know, those selection boxes of chocolate. So chocolate, chocolate, or chocolate? Pretty much. Which one are you going with? Chocolate hearts? Chocolate hearts. Okay. Choose your favorite. It's a chocolate heart surrounded by other chocolates. <laughs> what? Or it's a chocolate heart made out of chocolate, chocolate balls. Or it's the chocolate hearts that are chocolate, but little chocolate hearts, but aren't chocolate hearts. Let's go with the third one. Okay. I'm not confused at all. By the way, this is a visual figure. Dad can't see any of the images. So this is fun for me. Dan, it looks like a pie, but with chocolate in it. Oh, my goodness. But sake. it's small. It's a chocolate heart, but it's filled with chocolate. <laughs> and it is a white heart with pink chocolate on it. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's also chocolate. Uh... Oh, the middle one has bits of gold chocolate on it. Fuck it, gold chocolate. And the other one has, like, green chocolate. Gold chocolate, fuck it. Okay. Dan, it is a selection box with nine hearts, three of which are gold, three of which are pink, and three of which are a dark red. Okay, that's your first box. Next box is another selection box of just various chocolates, some white, some black, some pink, some have chocolate hearts in it, some are square, some are circular. Uh, and then there's another selection box of also nine, but they're hearts, but they have loads of different multicolored frostings on them. Let's go to the frosting one. Okay. It, definitely not because it's the only one I can remember. Dan, which sweet speaks to you? It's a chocolate heart with I tolerate you on it. <laughs> it is a... Uh, try a rectangle with Happy Valentine's Day on it, or it's a block of chocolate with I love you on it and some hearts. I tolerate you, let's be honest. I I'm... tolerate. Pick a heart shaped delight, Dan. It's a box of chocolates with Fuck some off. chocolates in. I don't want this there's anymore. Also, there's also some chocolates. I'm done uh, with chocolate. And a box of chocolates with some chocolates in it, but it's a heart shaped box, which I don't think you can eat. <sighs> Dan. There's two more questions. You've got to ask this one and then there's another one. Second one. I don't know what the second okay. one was, but go with it. The, the, other, the second one was a black heart weight of chocolate. Fuck it. Yeah, white one. petals on it and some brown chocolate leaves. Fuck it. That oh, one. the petals were white. That chocolate. one. Dan, finally, choose a da Valentine's Day box. It's a heart that isn't chocolate, but it says fatally yours. Uh, and it's got a little man underneath it. Or there's a cardboard box, or there's some boxes with wrapping paper that's pink and has hearts on it and has a bow that's also pink. The first one. You got Dark Phoenix. You got that bitch. Well, I don't want her. She Dark, incinerates her boyfriends. Well, you got her. Well, I'm dead. It's you got like Jean Grey. <laughs> you definitely have a dark side and are drawn to macabre either by circumstance beyond your control or your own devilish desire. Some may call you bitter or harsh, but you prefer the term misunderstood. Just because you have destroyed a multiverse in the past doesn't make you a bad person. Fantastic. Next quiz. What superhero couple represents your love? Find your relationship alter ego. Dan, how did you two meet? At work? Through friends? While traveling? Through a dating app? Dash site. Dan, through how friends. did you meet your soulmate? Through friends? friends? Yes. Through friends. What's your love language? Quality time? Acts of service? Physical touch? Words of affirmation. I mean, I, I was just going to say English. That's not an option, Dan. <laughs> words of affirmation's English. Doug, what are you doing? Acts of service, Dan. You could act serviceful. You could physically touch your partner. Or you could have quality time with your partner. Quality time. Quality time. Because Where do you not take a your super sweetie on a date? Go to a nice restaurant. Loiter in a bookshop. Go stargazing. Walk some local shelter dogs. Doesn't have to, even if you have a dog, you just leave your dog at home and go and walk some other dogs. <laughs> Let's go into a restaurant. Like every other Go to a nice restaurant. Your pay, your, oh my god. Ugh. Your poor baby has the flu. What's your move? Keep your distance, but send them some super memes. 
cuddle up with them, you're in this together. Check on them with teas and soup throughout the day. Rub their aching muscles and keep them hydrated. Send them with memes. Keep them the fuck away from me. I don't want that disease. Considering you don't want to go to the cinema just because you don't want to get COVID. And I didn't know. What do you like to do on a slow Sunday morning, Dan? Make a big breakfast together. Read the newspaper over cups of tea, coffee. Catch the sunrise from your favorite rooftop. Go to the beach. Hang on a minute. My dog's currently sniffing my chocolate. So let me just uh, take that away from her. Let your dog die. That was a joke, ladies and gentlemen. I do not want Dan's dog to die. I want Dan's dog to suffer, but not die. Calm down, big man. It's only a little doggo. Let it eat the chocolate, Dan. Let it hear its stomach pumped. Okay, no, that's expensive. Um, I think the beach. <laughs> the beach sounds good. How do you make up after a squabble? Buy them a surprise gift. Cook their favorite dinner. Buy their favorite song and break into a dance. Oh, play your favorite song, not pay their same favorite song. Send them memes until they laugh. Memes until they laugh, because I'm not buying them shit. Enough work already. What's your romantic vacation destination? New York City, your own private island, Epstein, your Venice, Italy, <laughs> New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, probably private island because fuck other people. So you want to be an Epstein, okay? How old's this girl you're taking, Dan? <laughs> Honestly, calm down, all right? You're Aquaman and Mira. I'm Aqua. Oh. Mira. You got Aquaman and Mira. You got. An abusive woman who beat up Johnny Depp, and you got a <laughs> douchebag bro boy in Game of Thrones. Yeah, I felt like that might have been the, the island one, you know? Dan, which superhero should be your Valentine's? All of them. Pick a color. Blue, white, red, orange, black. Blue. Blue. So you're going to get Superman. <laughs> How do you know that? Defining... Picking the best way to spend free time. Volunteering, shopping, riding, staying inside, a.k.a. Netflix. Playing sports. Staying inside. A.K.A. Netflix. A.K.A. Netflix, yes. Pick an ideal date. Day at the beach. Go out dancing. Go to the movies. Go a uh, romantic dinner or picnic in the park. Day to the beach. What is it with you and beaches? Pick a favorite food. Fish and chips. Pizza. Homemade pancakes with all the toppings. Spaghetti and meatballs. Cheese and French... Cheeseburger and French fries. Not just cheese and French fries. I do like fish and chips. So I'm going to go with fish and chips. But if there was a curry or roast dinner on there, I would have picked that instead. I think this is America. and they don't. I don't, I don't know if they do curry, but this is all seems like American. Like, What do you snack. mean you don't know if Americans do curry? I'm sure they do, but I think it's they bigger do. here. Than it is. Yeah, no, now you, now, you, now you say it. I don't think I've ever seen a curry house in an American program that I can recall. I'm sure there are, but I don't think it's as big as it is over here. Because I think America's Maybe a bit not. more racist. <laughs> I think anyway, Chinese, pick the yeah. most important word, Dan. Family, friends, animals, money, jobs. Money. Or job. Give me money. Money. Well, you're getting a billionaire then. <laughs> <laughs> pick an important quality in a friend. Trustworthy, understanding, loyalty, intelligent, friendly. Well, you're not friendly, so we, you know, that's not that one. You're not I intelligent. I never claim to be. I am. No, I'm dumb. none of these things. Except the intelligent one. You're not intelligent. I can't speak. That's That's different. <laughs> Which one are you pick? What are the other options again? <laughs> Trustworthy, understanding, loyalty, intelligent, friendly. And that's the best quality in a friend. Let's go Or it's loyalty. the most important quality. Loyalty. Because you're we're loyal to this podcast and our listeners. That is yes, why I, I gave it up for like two put... years. <laughs> that's, uh, that's why, why I, stopped I, doing. I consistently put out TV episodes late because I know my viewers want it late. Pick a genre of music, Dan. Classical, hip hop, country, rock, pop. And those rock were pop. two separate ones. No, rock pop was oh rock or pop. Hmm. Let me check my Spotify. What do I listen to more? Oh my god, we do not have time for you to check your Spotify. No, we definitely do. We definitely do. Let me have a look. What's it saying? Yeah, it's what saying was your rock. 2021 wrap up top artist? Well, so my top genre is rock. So rock. Okay, that surprises me. I didn't think you'd be a rock boy. I like rock. I and think pop. you'd be into rock collecting, but I didn't think you'd be a rock music. Well, I like pick um, yeah the best holiday. Oh, but go on. What were you going to say, I Dan, say I like I... alternative rock and indie pop. Okay. I'm glad we're learning this about each other. Yes. Dan, pick the best holiday. Halloween, 4th of July, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. Christmas. The rest of those are Christmas. Dead. It's the best episode of Scammer Town so far. <laughs> it was a good episode. I did enjoy it. You should check it out. Pick a dream vacation spot. New York City, London, the Bahamas, San Francisco, Las Vegas. All except, like, two are in America. <laughs> And one you can go and visit regularly. Sorry, I completely zoned out. 
Can you say that again? Pick a dream vacation spot, Dan. New York City, London, the Bahamas, San Francisco, Las Vegas. The you want to go gambling? No, you don't want to go gambling? You no, don't want to no, lose no. all your money in the no, no. gambling ring? I've already done all that in the stock market and the crypto market, you know? Uh, pick an animal. Whale, tiger, robin, eagle, wolf. Guess what robin gets you? <laughs> I'm going to go for a wolf. A wolf? Yeah, because I've got a dog right there staring at me and making noises at me. So if I Calculating it... results, Dan. Calculating. Calcu- you got Superman because you picked blue. Also, maybe wolf because of crypto. No, you no, you picked blue. <laughs> It probably is that, isn't it? That, that's how these things work. You pick one and it gives you the superhero. <laughs> Everything else is nonsense. If you'd picked Robin, you would have got Batman. <laughs> if you'd picked Money, you would have got Iron Man. Uh, but because you I picked pick Blue... Money. Yeah, but because you picked Blue, Dan, it auto-defaulted oh, yes. to... Because Iron Man doesn't... Well, he probably does have a blue suit. I'm pretty sure he has a blue suit. But his default is red and yellow. Or gold. Anyway, next quiz. Plan a Valentine's Day dinner, and we'll tell you which Marvel superhero is your soulmate. Dan, pick an appetizer. Moz sticks, which I guess is mozzarella sticks. Okay, yeah. Wings, chicken wings, I imagine. Or just the wings of an angel carved off the back of a fallen angel who you're dating. Because it's the best pickup line. Are you an angel? Did you fall from heaven because you, are you an angel? Or whatever the fuck it is, I don't care. Just walk up to a woman and like a pair of like, fake wings and say, they drop your wings. Spinach dip, nachos, garlic knots, or clam chowder. What's garlic knots? I'm guessing it's like garlic balls or something like that. That does sound about right. I think it might be that. Alex, what are garlic knots? You're going to go garlic knots. Okay. Pick an entree. Cheese ravioli. Pizza. Steak and lobster. Pad thai. Quesadilla. Burgers and fries. Or chips in the UK. Dan, pick one. Do you I mean, not want a lovely steak a lobster for your entree? And a pizza? I mean, and a my cheese ravioli? Was, was talking to me the entire time. I can hear you. Okay. Pick an entree, Dan. Cheese ravioli. Pizza. Steak and lobster. Pad thai. Quesadilla. Burger and fries. I'd go with a quesadilla. I don't know what a quesadilla is. It's in a Mexican dish. Yeah. I think I know that. Pick a dessert. Tiramisu. Oreo. Cheesecake. Very specific with the cheesecake. Not just a t- standard cheesecake. An Oreo cheesecake. That sounds good. Lava cake. That also Red velvet good. cake. That also sounds Ice good. cream brownie. That also sounds good. Ice cream cookie. That also sounds good. Ooh, what Dan, would you like a cake made out of lava? I'm actually going to go for a tiramisu. I hate tiramisu. I hate coffee. <laughs> well, I love coffee, so you know. <laughs> I hate coffee so much. It's so gross. Pick a V-Day card. Gift. Pick a Valentine's Day gift card. How much are you giving them? Five quid, ten quid, twenty quid, twenty-five, fifty. No, it's pick a Valentine's Day gift. A bouquet of roses. A candy bouquet. A giant teddy bear. Chocolate covered strawberries. A card. Their love. That's not a gift. <laughs> I give That's you taking my love. their love as let's just giving them their love back. That's just not a gift. I'm going to go with, I'm going to play a smart one now, a bouquet of flowers. Only because a uh, giant roses, teddy bear. Not flowers. It's huh? roses. It's just roses, Dan. It's not flowers. Oh, whatever. Is a rose not a, not a flower? It's a type of flower. Exactly. It's still a flower. But, you just you just summed up your point, right? But you've got to be specific on which flowers. <laughs> because the flowers are going to die eventually. And it means it's not going to cause that much hassle. Whereas a teddy bear is going to cause a lot of hassle. But what about the candy one? You can just eat it. And then you're not having something that represents your love yes. dying. But then people complain about getting overweight. What about a card with a 20 quid gift card in it? That does sound <laughs> ideal, but I'm going to go with the what bouquet What about your credit card and they the can roses. go and buy a gift? Bouquet of roses. That's my final answer. Okay. Dan wants to give his love of his life a gift that represents death. Because exactly. over time it will slowly die, just like the relationship. How will dinner end? A kiss? A hug? A high five? A handshake, a winky emoji, a movie. A handshake. Definitely a handshake. Yeah, you know, that, that's because... a, that sounds about right. So yeah, Dan, job interview. who are you guessing you got before I reveal who you got based on your answers? I actually have no idea. <laughs> Shit. Well, throw one out randomly. Pick a random superhero. And Iron Man. It. No, you got Captain America. Oh, that is the handshake. Sake. Captain America the oh, virgin. Right. Yeah, that's it, yeah. He was a virgin until he went back in time to fuck Peggy Carter. You don't know he was a virgin. Danny was super small, 
and he was probably a virgin then. Then he got the super serial soldier. Then he went into war, and he didn't meet any women except Peggy, and they didn't fuck until because they wanted to date. And then he got frozen in time, and then he probably maybe fucked in the present timeline, but he was still busy with S.H.I.E.L.D. and shit, so he wasn't... He's, he No, no, no. He definitely fucked his niece. Cousin. No. Nope. <laughs> he probably fucked his cousin at some point. Yeah, he probably did as well, but no, he, he, he fucked his niece. He fucked Sharon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. be honest. That's why she's pissed in Civil War, not Civil That's War. That's why she went back in time to fuck his, her mum. Aunt? Her mum's sister. Yes, aunt. Yeah, yeah. First off, Dan... This romantic quiz will reveal your true Marvel Valentine. This is the last one, by the way. Cool. This is a short episode. This definitely is. First off, how do you meet your significant other? A barbecue at your neighbors? Out hiking a new trail? They hold your rope indoor rock climbing? You beat them in a pub trivia? (laughs) At a (laughs) farmer's market? You catch their ultimate frisbee at the park? In the travel section of the bookstore? To buy firewood from them? For camping at a demonstration for the new Tesla during intermission of the ballet. The demonstration for the new Tesla, absolutely. You know, because I'm going to be on Elon Musk's hot dial for some reason. Who knows why? Right. Break the ice with a first meal, Dan. Grabbing a bite together from a food truck. Jumping on their motorcycle for a ride and finding some roadside spot to eat. Wine tasting and tapas at a winery. A chef's table at a new restaurant. Cooking dinner together at their place. Simple cookout on the beach. New sushi re- sushi. Sushi? Sushi. <laughs> sushi restaurant. Some takeout by the fire at their house. Burgers and milkshakes at a diner. Smoothies after a workout together. Damn, which one piques your interest? What ones are popping up in if your I'm mind? If I'm honest, they all sound pretty shit. Oh, you don't want to cook a dinner together at their place? Or a simple cookout at the beach? I mean, or if they could at the chef's that place. table at a new restaurant. <laughs> let's go. Let's go that one. The chef's table at a new restaurant. Okay. Choose a Valentine's Day gift you'd like to get: a vintage bracelet, local pottery for your home, an e-reader loaded with all your favorite authors you share, cool roller skates, roses, red roses, and chocolates, of course. A portable movie projector, yoga gear, modern Polaroid camera. Hiking boots or a fitness track because you're a fat fuck. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Think I'm putting on a few pounds, but I, I want the hiking boots. I, I, like, I like to go on a hike. Okay, Dan. And now choose a gift for them: cool sneakers, great new headphones, a suitcase. Why do they get all the good tie? gifts? Because <laughs> this is it's technically for women to find them. Yeah, I kind of realize that. <laughs> So you're basically choosing a gift for them. <laughs> cool bullshit. sneakers, great new headphones, a suitcase, a silk tie. Imagine getting a tie for Valentine's Day. I'd a ten shit. ice cream maker, annual pass to a museum, surfboard, a mini drone, and cologne and aftershave. I want a mini drone. I want a mini drone. <laughs> that sounds sick. Now pick a Valentine's Day date, Dan. They can a have the, the bloody tie. Cause I, fuck it. If you I what? get a shit gift, they get a shit gift. Wait, what did you pick? The tie. Oh, I picked the mini drone already. I want the mini drone. I don't want them to have it. I want it. <laughs> well, they get the mini drone and then you could steal it off them. Fuck it's like sake. one of those gifts where you clearly buy it for the other person, like yourself, and then you give it to the other person and then you just take it. Yeah. We've done that. Now pick a Valentine's Day date, Dan. Day at a luxury spa and a dinner at a five-star restaurant. Watching a media shower at the planetarium and dinner. Touring a botanical garden and a picnic. Rappelling and dinner. Rappel? Yeah, it is rappelling. Like, I thought it was rappelling each other. Like, you piss each other off so much that you just don't want to talk to each other. And then you go to dinner. Yeah, it's but like, no, it's fuck the, off, you it's, bastard. It's climbing up a, ro- a rock. Oh, and then oh going yeah, so down that's it. not right. And then it's going down it. Uh, escape room and drinks. Foreign film festival. A candlelit dinner and a dancing. Pops night at the symphony and dinner. Pottery class and a nice takeout at home later. A canoe ride and a picnic on a secluded beach. I'm going to go for Dan, the meteor shower. Dan, do you want to do ghost? Meteor shower? Yes, because I love space. But this is dead. I don't give a shit. I want space. <laughs> You're just going to drag a girl along to the most boring place. And I don't give a shit. Sit. I want to see meteor shower. <laughs> Relocate for love. Yeah. St. Louis, Missouri. 
Kimberley, Australia. New York, New York. Garden Route, South Africa. Healy. Wait, he H E A L Y Healy, Alaska. Lilyhammer, Norway. Oh boy. Incheon, South Korea. Coral Gables, Florida. Washington, D.C. Or London, England. You can move to the good old U.K. <laughs> Pay exorbitant tax prices and high rent. <laughs> See, I remembered which one I was going to say. And then I forgot it. What was the country? <laughs> New also York, New sure. York. South Africa. Australia. No. Missouri. No, Alaska. No. Norway. Well, Alaska. South Korea. Alaska. Hey, Lily. <laughs> what was that? Healy. Alaska. Okay. How do they propose? Dan, you're getting lucky. You're getting proposed too. Oh, that's just, At the end of a yeah. zipline course, as you're there, you're going straight into them as they're kneeling down, and just smack them in the face as you, you just pass kill them by. As they're, as they're proposing. At your favorite secluded lookout spot on a beach on vacation, trivia scavenger hunt while skydiving. Imagine that they drop the ring. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> while playing Scrabble, triple word score, bitch. Wait, no, no. <laughs> On a hot air balloon ride over a vineyard. On a helicopter ride around the city. On a carriage ride in the park. While horseback riding. Imagine you do that. You go horse riding. You get off the horse to propose and it kicks you in the head. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. <laughs> hmm. Let's go the zip wire one. What, because you want to just kick them as you go past? Yeah, because they stole my job. Fuck them. Choose a place to get married, Dan. A family church and rep- reception hall. A dinner cruise. A rustic ranch. Your favorite bar, a friend's back garden, but apparently they have a gazebo, which is very fancy in this picture. At the top of a ski hill, that would be a horrible place to get married. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Uh, ballroom of a fancy hotel, a courthouse vows, historical center, industrial city loft. <laughs> Some of these are just terrible. These are, yeah, these are, oh shit. Ah oh, yes, how romantic, a courthouse. <laughs> Let's go and do our vows at a courthouse. I think they Your mean... favorite bar, just so you can drink. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Let's go with that one. Uh, choose some honeymoon plans. Tokyo Disney. Island hopping in Hawaii. A glacial trek in Cafanetti, Argentina. A wildlife safari on Komodo Island, Indonesia. Arche- archaeological tour of the Aegean. Zip lining at Victoria Falls in Zambia. Catamaran and snorkeling in Barbados. Luxury wine tour in Dura Rally, Portugal. I don't know how any of these are related to superheroes. I forgot that was the point of this. I was just like, what the yeah, fuck? How yeah. I... <clears throat> I'm going to go for Hawaii. Hang on, there's two more. Oh, for... Dining at RoboCaf in Dubai and pitching a tent at the remote spot of Stewart Island. Like I said, Hawaii. That is the weirdest phrasing ever. Pitching a tent is a euphemism for having a boner. At a remote spot on Stewart's Island. Just your mate Stewart. <laughs> He's just got an island, and you're just going to pitch a tent. Yeah, let's go with um, Hawaii. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Hawaii. Hawaii? Island hopping in Hawaii? Yeah, that one. Okay, Dan. Lastly, pick a dream wedding gift. This is your chance, Dan. You're going to get a gift. It's on your wedding registry. Get me you finally get one. Good. Dan, do you want golf clubs? A pair of yes. dwarf goats? <laughs> Tickets for your next trip? A piece of custom artwork? A trampoline? Nice china set, a kitchen island and baking gear, Andrea Dak chairs and a fire pit, custom bookcases and ladder, or a VR set. I'm going to go golf clubs, because they're fucking expensive. So give me a Uh fucking new set. You got... Okay, who do you reckon you got? Out of all the Marvel heroes, who'd you get? (laughs) Which one likes golfing? Iron Man, because it's rich. Hey, you got it right. You got Tony Stark. (laughs) Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Congratulations, Dan. You did it. You passed all the quizzes with flying colours. Thank you, thank you. Was it, could, could I have failed them? No. <laughs> thank but you anyway. I don't know if you wanted any of your dates. So. You got to fuck basically Iron Man, Captain America, and Rob, uh, Superman. Yes, and I, and as I far am. As I can remember. Mark Phoenix. Oh yeah, and, and Jean Grey. Yeah, you did get Jean Grey. You weren't happy about that one though. No, not really. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a short one, but... There isn't much to do with this one, but we just wanted to get you a Valentine's Day episode several days late after Valentine's Day, uh, once everyone's had their romantic moments. But yeah, we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Goodbye.